Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I have a bonus video for you this week. Um, last week I showed you several ways to use the adorable Cats Off bundle from Stampin' Up! And um, several of you sent me an email telling me about a snack that you found and I had to go find them. Look, they're tasty cake fastballs. Why I didn't find these before I did my Facebook Friday, I don't know, but here they are. And I got them at Dollar Tree. Um, it says $1.89, but I only paid a dollar. Uh, they were way up high on a shelf, but I found them. And if you go on the Tasty Cake website, they actually have a snack finder where you can enter your information and it'll tell you stores in your area that have these. They are so cute. And I think they would make a great little treat. Um, I'm always thinking about those little t-ball and little league players who have their end of the year parties i think these would be fun to give them so the other thing i'm using is our current may 2021 paper pumpkin kit i decided to pull this in because it coordinates really well if you've never seen paper pumpkin it's a kit that comes to your door and it has the directions has everything that you need um, but i'm going to use it in a different way instead of making the cards we're going to use pieces of it um, for our box. So you're going to need this card base, this card base, and this card base, okay? And then I'm also going to just punch that baseball out and we're going to use that. All right, let's make the box and then we'll make all the little pieces that go on top of it. For this box, you're going to need you're gonna to need to start with 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, I only have white. I was wanting to use navy, but I only have white, so that's what we're gonna use. Um, you're gonna to need to cut it down to 10 and uh, 10 by nine and a half, okay? So let's start on the long side at 10 inches. You're gonna score it at half an inch, three and a half, five and a fourth, and eight and a fourth. Then turn it. And on the short side, score it at one and three fourths and seven and three fourths. These uh, measurements are over on my blog. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube, just click the link and head over to my blog and uh, you'll find them there for you. All right, so take your bone folder, burnish all those lines, get them nice and crisp. Our uh, white 12 by 12 is a little bit thinner than our regular cardstock. So you want to make sure that you get them nice and crisp so that it doesn't um, bend at all. All right, now take your scissors and here on this skinny lip right here, this edge, we're going to completely cut that off, okay? So cut that corner off and that corner, okay? Now we're going to go down and we're going to cut all of these lines and these squares we want to cut at an angle so I'm gonna cut a sliver off of each one okay now I'll come over here on this side and do the same thing cutting your squares at an angle, leave those rectangles as they are. And snip. And one more, snip. Okay, so here's what your paper looks like so far. Now, we wanna make these two tabs look like this tab. So we're gonna just take our scissors and we're gonna cut right there across so that you have about a half of an inch tab. These are just going to tuck down in the box. So if they're not exactly the same, don't stress. Cut the corners off of these as well. Okay, so all three. Just snip off those corners. Now we're going to use Tombow to put our box together. Here in South Texas where it's humid, I find that that is the best adhesive to use. Okay, so there, that's what your box looks like. We're gonna take these two tabs on each side and adhere them behind the, the rectangles, okay? So I'm actually gonna start by putting some adhesive on the outside of these square flaps. And I'm gonna fold them in and I'm gonna line up that back edge with the edge 
of my rectangle, okay? Tuck that one in right there. Now, a little trick I like to do is take a little clothespin and clip that down to give it a nice seal while we're waiting for it to dry. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here with our Tombow and press that adhesive in. Make sure they're lined up right here so you have a nice square box. And then put those closed pins. All right, now we're gonna leave it like that for a little while, let it dry. Let's see if we can get our tasty cakes to fit in there with those closed pens. I think so. See how nicely that fits? All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's make our other pieces. Now, for these two card bases, we're gonna do some trimming. I've got to grab my trimmer right here. And we're gonna start with the little stripe, the pin stripes. And we're gonna cut a piece that measures five and a half by two and a half. It's already five and a half across, so you just need to cut it down to two and a half, okay? And then for this one, we're just gonna cut this off and we're actually gonna cut those starbursts out. Now over here, I've already done this part. You wanna just cut off a little sliver. Let me grab my die. I use the message die, this one right here, to cut a piece out of here. So, so that you don't cut the whole thing, just cut off a, a sliver of it and put it behind there and cut that piece out. So I've already done that ahead of time. Okay, so for the starburst, I am gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut in and cut off all the white pieces. Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna speed up the video. Have that cut out. Take your Tombow again. Actually, let's put it on, no, let's do this first so that we can trim it off. I'm gonna put just a little bit on each one of these little rays here. And I'm gonna stick it down so that the top edge, I'm gonna start here with the top edge, matching those up like that. Okay, now I probably got adhesive on this side, which I sure did. You don't need adhesive to go down that far. I'm gonna just trim off those starburst. Yes, I'm getting glue on my scissors. That's all right, I'll clean them. And there you have it, okay? Now for our little baseball, it's already printed. All you had to do is pop it off the, the sheet. I'm gonna put that on with a dimensional. And then our little wood grain um, label piece that we cut with the big message die. We're gonna put that here. All right, for the sentiment, you can use anything you want at this point. Um, I decided to kind of go with a generic. Um, I'm using, let me show you this one. Where is it? Actually, yeah, right, right here, right in the middle. Go team. Use whatever is appropriate for whatever you're using this for. Now I'm going to get it nice and inked up in my uh, white craft ink, and I'm going to stamp it on navy. And then I'm gonna get my white embossing powder. And now, whoops, now, let's see, I've got a little bit of a stray crumb there. So just get your paintbrush. You can get your paintbrush and just get those off. And then grab your heat tool and hit it with a heat tool until you see it turn shiny. All right, once you have your piece ready to go, we're just gonna slide over our cut and emboss machine. Got all kinds of little papers everywhere. All right, once you've got that, all you need is this oval die right here. Put that down. Hopefully I'm in the camera, hopefully you guys can see. Just put that down right around it. The other oval is for the stitching, but I don't think we necessarily need that since we embossed this. All right, there's our little piece. And now we're just gonna add that on. 
with a dimensional as well. And I have pulled out my red trim. This is from the Playful Pets trim, ribbon trim combo pack. It's one of my favorites. It's thin and it's red, which is one of my most used colors. All right, I'm just gonna stick that on with a glue dot right here, like that. And all right, now I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is five and three fourths by two and three fourths. And I'm just gonna mat that. Isn't that adorable? So stinking cute. All right, let's see. I think our glue has had enough time to dry. So you're gonna fold these tabs in, tuck it down into your box like that. Get it all lined up. And all right, and now all you need to do is put some adhesive on the back of your navy piece and set it right down there. And look, you've got a great, adorable party favor. Aren't these just the cutest? I don't have any little leaguers at home anymore, but I'm sure I could find some neighborhood kids who would love to have a baseball treat. All right, hop over to my blog, grab that those measurements, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.